Andre, last time we saw you was one year ago. It was our first ever People of Lisbon. We didn't know what we were doing. Did you know what you were doing? I didn't know what you were doing. I didn't also know what, what I was doing and I still don't. But check in again in a year. My name is Andret Freitas and I still live in Lisbon. Good to see you again. I feel like it's been a year. Yes. Almost feels like that. Not long enough, if you ask me. I'm happy to see her. I can't believe after a year he still wears a fedora. Okay, so I'm trying to work on this bit. And I've been working on it for like ages. And because you can only practice when you're on stage, it's like you change a word, you change two words, and then you have to go on stage again and see how people react to those two words. And then you're like, oh, maybe it's better with one word. Today I'm hosting the show, so there's a few other comedians on. So my job today is just get the energy up to make sure that they have a good time and they have a good set and everyone enjoys the show. Test, test. Rita, can you hear me at the back? Is it too loud? For sure, it was a really tough year. Definitely one of the hardest years. I think the hardest year. Has it been difficult to write new jokes during these times? Yes, uh, I think it's been difficult because What's the point of writing them if you can't try them out? So then you just get blue balls, you get joke blue balls. Tell me one thing you've learned about yourself in the last year. I have learned that uh, I don't have to put myself in a box. I learned that I want to do stuff that I enjoy and just be myself. When you hear another comedian tell a really good joke, do you get jealous? Yes, a hundred percent. I'm like, I wish. I'd wrote that. But I also really like seeing people that are so much better than me because then I'm like, wow, there's a lot of work. So whenever you think that you've achieved it, life has a way of showing you, hey, you're not hot shit. Get your ego in check. You've got a lot of work ahead. A guy from Egypt teaches online English to Chinese people. That's globalization at its best. If a terrorist walked into one of my shows, he'd be like, you know what? I'm not killing myself for this. Uh, bring it up, bring it up. All the way up. Thanks so much. Welcome to the set. Dating in your 40s isn't cool. Dating in your 40s, it's like shopping at a charity shop. <laughs> Every once in a while you walk in there and you're like, oh my god, look at this. I can't believe nobody bought this. <laughs> and uh, give it up for all the communities that you've seen. Thanks so much and uh, have a nice night. Bye. Where are you going to be this time next year? When we meet up with you again? Hopefully still doing comedy in bigger and better places. And I hope next time I see you, you have a bigger camera, bigger mic. It's not likely. Well, you know what, man, you gotta believe. Cheers, man. Thank Cheers, bro. Much. Good to see you guys. Thank you.